Hey, what's going on guys? CJR here today with my pickups, uh, mostly from MGC. Uh, if you want to check out my video from MGC, you can find it right here. Yeah, here. Uh, find it in the link in the card up here, just click on it. Uh, I did a vlog, I was at Midwest Gaming Classic last weekend, and I just finished that video. You'll be seeing this video on Saturday morning. This is my pickups mostly from that show. And uh, right now I'm actually on my way to Florida. So stay tuned for some Florida vlogs. Um, I might even do a dumpster dive video down there. Uh, hopefully gonna get some garage selling done. I'm gonna have my laptop with me. It'll all depend on whether um, my internet connection is good enough to upload the video. If you don't see something from me in the next uh, couple days, uh, you'll probably see it in two weeks. So, uh, But stay tuned for more vlogs coming throughout the uh, spring and summer. Um, so let's get right into this. I actually picked up a ton of stuff. I normally don't buy anything. Um, I don't buy a whole lot when I go to like swap type things from like vendor halls or anything like that just because the prices are crazy. I found some cheap stuff. I got some good, uh, I got some people really hooked me up with some good deals. Uh, it just worked out that right before I went, um, our dollar, the Canadian dollar kind of recovered a little bit. So the exchange rate wasn't horrible. So uh, I'm gonna get right into this by starting, oh, I'll get to that last. Okay, so hook up from um, one of the guys I went with, JCAU99, you can find him here on YouTube. Uh, he's got a really great channel, go check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Go give him a sub, he's a really funny guy. Um, he brought this Samus for me. I have not been able to find this Samus here in Canada. Uh, they were around when, what is this, Wave 1, I think this is 1-2. Um, and I've never seen them since. I never personally saw them in, in the store myself, but uh, I know that they're gone. So I needed this one for my collection. So thank you so much for that. He didn't even charge me anything, didn't want anything for it. it helped me up with that. So thank you, Josh, JCAU99. Um, there was a Toys R Us right behind the hotel where we were staying. So I picked up this Sheik, a Legend of Zelda character. Uh, I told myself I'm not gonna be picking up every single World of Nintendo figure anymore. I, I'm only gonna pick up the little tiny, the smaller guys, the ones that I really want. I'm not buying every one of those, but I probably will continue to buy these and the larger style. I like picking them up. Uh, the problem is in Canada here, they've really shot up in price. I think they're $15.99 for those, so not cheap. Um, another guy that I went with, Rich, Burning Toys. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below also. Uh, just hooked me up with two random, um, Sealed DS games. This one is uh, Homie Rollers. I think it's those like little homies toys that you find in vending machines. And it may be a kart racer kind of customization game. And then Napoleon Dynamite. No idea what that is. So I know what Napoleon Dynamite is, but I have no idea what the game involves. So yeah, if you watch my vlog, you'll know that I'm, I'm I was pretty sick then, and I'm actually still really feeling it. I'm feeling sick to my stomach right now, so you'll hear me, hear me doing some heavy, heavy breathing. Um, I'm gonna go through the dollar stuff I found. So typically when I go to these shows, I hit the bargain bins and just look for like filler that I need for my collection. Uh, there was a booth selling a whole bunch of games, mostly sports games for a buck a piece. So I actually, I found six N64 games that I needed for my collection and eventually I'd like to try and get a full NES collection. So to knock these out for a dollar is fantastic. NASCAR 99, all in pretty good shape too. Um, NBA uh, uh, NBA Courtside 2 featuring Kobe Bryant. Kobe just put up 60 last night, really impressive final game of the season. I have a feeling Kobe's not done playing basketball. In the NBA, yes, but I think he's gonna play somewhere else. NBA Jam 99, I mean Europe, um, or China. Supercross 2000. I think someone's gonna throw a whole bunch of money at Kobe Bryant, and I think he's still got the legs to put in another year or two. Um, even if it is just like a European farewell tour. Madden 2000 and NBA in the zone 99. So I was beyond happy to get those for a dollar piece. More dollar pickups, same table. Picked up a bunch of uh, Game Gear games I didn't have. Again, all sports. Fred Couples Golf. NHL All-Star, PGA Tour Golf 2, Madden 95, this is NBA Action, 
And this is NFL Quarterback Club 99. So, I mean, for a dollar, for a collection like that, um, you know, I wouldn't be going and picking up PlayStation games for a dollar. I don't really care about having PlayStation sports games, but um, for a collection, something like the Game Gear, I actually don't mind having those for a buck a piece. And of course, the N64, I'd like to complete at some point. So for a dollar piece, I'm really happy. Uh, so short, I'll make a long story short. I've been searching for this baseball game and every time I go to a convention, I'm always on the lookout for a game called Baseball Advanced on the Game Boy Advance. It was a, uh, it is a really good like 16-bit baseball game. Really fun game. I had it uh, as a teenager. Actually, I think it was closer to my 20s. I remember working, I was working at the hospital, so I would go on break or go to the bathroom and I had my Game Boy Micro and I would sit in there and play a couple innings of uh, Baseball Advance. So it had some nostalgia to it, nostalgic attachment to it, but also a, a fantastic game. Oh man, my stomach's really killing me. I don't feel like I'm going to throw up, but it's like uh, something's grabbing my guts and just twisting them. Not a cramp, but just really a strange feeling. Um, so, okay, let me start that dollar at the doll at the place where they were selling games for a buck a piece. Uh, I had heard that there was a couple good games on the GBA baseball game. So I picked up these two, um, little league baseball, 2002 and backyard baseball, 2006. They're not good. Um, I had, I think the guy told me that they were decent. I just picked them up for a buck. They're not good. Um, and then I picked up NBA jam 2002. This might be the worst video game I've ever played in my entire life. I really actually want to do a video on this. Um, you would think that making an NBA Jam game 16-bit should be relatively simple. They absolutely butchered this thing, and it, it's laughable how bad this is. It's really, really horrible. Um, it, you couldn't make a worse game than this. I should, I might Twitch stream this or make a little video. Maybe I'll start a series on, um, instead of Hidden Gems, maybe I'll call it Hidden turds. There we go. All right, so what's up next here? Uh, I picked up, uh, we went to go eat. There's a mall just kind of down the road from where the convention was and uh, where the hotel was. The hotel was, the convention was at the hotel that we were staying at. Uh, and they had a EB, they had a GameStop in the uh, hotel. They had a GameStop at the mall. Uh, my battery died. I have since. Uh, I, while well, I tried to replace the battery, all three of my batteries were dead for this camera. So I have since gone upstairs and I fell asleep because, as I said, I wasn't feeling well. So I'm just trying to jump back into this after literally waking up about 30 seconds ago. So, uh, okay, where am I at? I went to GameStop and uh, didn't pick up any games, but I saw that they had uh, these guys on sale for, or on clearance for like $3.99. $3.99. I think typically they're like ten to twelve dollars. I know they're like twelve ninety nine here in Canada. Um, these are Funko, like the mini Funko, not the kid robot ones, but they're little like uh, vinyl uh, figures, and I think they're really cool. I've seen them before. They've just been super expensive, so I picked up uh, the three that they had. I asked if they had more, but they didn't. So. Um, I haven't opened them yet. I'm actually gonna let Andrew open these, and I'm gonna shoot a video. I made a YouTube channel for Andrew, just kind of for fun, called uh, AJR, and uh, Andrew, just like CJR, but I spelt it E-H-A, like Canadian, A, you know what I mean? So AJR is what it's called. Um, I think eventually I'm going to start letting him do little videos on his own channel, but uh, I think we're going to do like um, an unboxing of these three, and I'll just put the camera on him, and uh, let him unbox it and film it, so stay tuned for that. Uh, up next, um, I've kind of been, I guess, passively picking up the Dreamcast uh, All-Stars, the uh, Sega All-Stars versions of uh, the Dreamcast games, and uh, they, I, got, I found some for a really good deal at the swap, so uh, a couple more here for, I think, yeah, these guys... These were a dollar, a uh, dollar each, NBA 2K and NBA 2K1. I couldn't remember which one I already had, and uh, it was this one. So this is the one that's going in the collection for a buck. That's awesome. Um, Rich Burning Toys actually picked this one up for me uh, for a quarter. It turned out that I actually already had this one. 
I'm just noticing that the spine on that is really faded. But uh, I'll probably take the insides of this one and um, I think the disc is better on this one. Anyway, so yeah, thanks Rich, it was a quarter. NHL 2K. Uh, and then I picked up a couple, a little bit more exp uh, expensive ones. I believe I paid five for Tony Hawk. Yeah, five for Tony Hawk. Um, five for tennis, uh, virtual tennis, love that game. Um, crazy Taxi. Uh, this guy was 10, 10 for um, Sonic Adventure. And then this was eight bucks, eight dollars for this one, I remember. Crazy Taxi. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm actively seeking these. If anybody has these and wants to trade, um, I'm still looking for like Power Stone, Hydro Thunder, and a couple other ones, so. Uh, okay, picked up a couple NES games that I needed. Uh, we've, I picked up the Chess Master. Where's Waldo? And Short Order slash Explode, which I think is a power pad game, and the guy said it's actually pretty decent. And I paid 10 bucks for those three, half decent deal. Um, well, actually, I picked these up. I picked up, uh, picked up three um, Sega Dreamcast controllers. I didn't have these colors. The only colored ones I have is the blue. So I picked up the green, the black, and the red. I'm not sure what other colors there are, but now with the blue, I've got four colored controllers, which is kind of nice. Those end up costing me 14 each, which is not bad. Um, but so, yeah, getting to the trade, um, Josh, JCAU99, let me know that uh, one of the guys they were talking to had some stuff in their trunk. Uh, they texted me, so I was like, heck yeah, I want to go out and uh, see what this guy has. He was selling off his collection. It turned out to be, uh, I believe his name was Sam. And his, 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 uh, I, I had seen one of his uh, YouTube videos before. It was uh, survival RPG gaming or something like that. Anyways, we went out to Sam's car and he had bins and bins full of games. So he let us look through everything. Um, let us look through it all and uh, he was giving us really fantastic deals. So I picked up some stuff that I needed here. I picked up um, Wrecking Crew for the NES. Uh, this is Predator for the NES. Fisher Price, I can remember. Uh, Bump and Jump. I, I'm excited to try that one, and I've actually never played this before. Two Super Nintendo games I thought looked interesting. This is Radical Psycho Machine Racing. Um, Ultraman, I believe, is a fighting game. And then four, uh, the best of the bunch was uh, these four Genesis games. I picked up Zoom. <coughs> uh, this is Super Hydlide. Sword of Vermilion. And then Double Dragon 3. So I got that bundled together and he charged me 40 bucks for that whole stack of games. So really a fantastic deal. Thank you so much, Sam. Um, very happy with that. Uh, one last Super Nintendo game I picked up for $2, Natsume Championship Wrestling. Not sure how good that is, but it was a decent deal. Uh, so that's it for my MGC pickups. I, I picked up a couple other things here in the last couple of days. I just thought I would quickly show you. This just came in the mail. This is the Sega Genesis EverDrive. Um, picked this up from AliExpress. I now have the Genesis Super Nintendo N64 is on its way, and I'm getting a GBA one too, and it works fantastic. Came with an 8 gig memory card, fully loaded with every single ROM, um, every Genesis ROM, every Mega Drive ROM, and every Master Sega Master System ROM. So, it works absolutely fantastic. You can find it on AliExpress. I think it was like 50 bucks. And then I was just at Walmart uh, getting some stuff for the trip to Florida, and I saw these. I pl had planned on buying these while in Florida because they weren't out here in Canada, but uh, apparently they're out. So um, they are the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie figures. Uh, I'm not going to pick up the turtles. I already have the turtles from the previous movie series. So I'm just going to pick up some of the cooler figures. And this is definitely one of the coolest. Uh, this is the Krang from, from the movie. I actually really like this Krang. Um, it's pretty cool that uh, you've got the, the body. So it's, it's kind of a mix between the 80s and the new. 
And then here is the new Casey Jones. Looks all right. I'm not sure who plays Casey Jones in the movie. Looks like the mask doesn't actually come off, but uh, decent. And then the new Foot Soldier, which is much better than the previous Foot Soldier. So I decided to pick this up. The previous Foot Soldier was just kind of like an army guy with guns. At least, uh, at least these are ninjas. <coughs> and then the best of the bunch, well, next to Krang, we've got uh, Bebop and Rocksteady, which actually they look they look really cool. I'm excited to see. I'm actually really looking forward to this movie. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing this movie with Andrew, I should say. Um, I'm looking for, I think it's going to be better than the, the, uh, the, the last one that came out. But uh, Andrew just loves going to this to see this, these kind of movies. So uh, I'm not sure when it's released. I'm guessing sometime in May or June. But uh, we will be definitely going to see that. That is it for my pickups. Um, thank you so much for watching. Do me a huge favor and hit that like button. If you haven't seen the vlog already, you can go check it out right here. I hope. It might be right here. I screw this up every time. I think it's right here. I don't know. Uh, anyways, feel free to check that out. And uh, as I said, I'm on my way to Florida right now, so stay tuned. Um, you can follow me on social media. I'll be posting a whole bunch of different stuff on the way to Florida, stuff I pick up. Uh, follow me on Instagram at CJR. Facebook and Twitter at CJR. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and until the next episode.